Hello Cappy, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here Capricorn and I do hope you're well. I'm about to get some messages for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for the next seven days ahead. These are going to be general messages Capricorn, so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply to you and the rest let them fly. So looking at your current energy Capricorn and while you come in, please hit the like button, share the messages with those you love. By hitting share, you can share to your WhatsApp, Facebook, or other blog groups um, if the messages resonate with you. Um, I, I really appreciate your show of support here in the growth and development and of my channel, the expansion of my channel. Thank you so much. Um, and you can do that just by hitting like, share, subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Cappy, welcome in. Much love. So looking at your current energy, I'm seeing the moon card. So I feel like there's something a bit hidden. I feel the truth. That's the energy. So in, with the moon card, it can be anything that's not being seen. But in this instance, I'm feeling specifically the truth. The truth. Let's see what's on the bottom of the decks. Yeah, I was looking for the sun energy to see if the truth would come out. But I do feel like the, sh the, the, the truth is being hidden. It's not being said. It is as if you may have an intuition of something maybe wanting to repeat itself. Um, this may have to do with love or just a family relationship, affectionate relationship that you're dealing with here. Okay, um, maybe something having to do with your, your mother or a Pisces in your life with the moon energy. Um, or just a secret, something that's not being, like you know something but it's not being told to you. It's, it's being denied. Like you're like, say, just be honest and the person's like, no, no. Even though you know it's 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 not true um so that's the current energy that i feel for you capricorn i feel like at the end of the day something is going to come to you with the queen of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here so you're going to be it's a, it's a vision or a dream it's like literally a dream going to sleep and dreaming something and it's, it's a gift it may, it's, it's may it's maybe a dream of something of in your childhood having to do with your mother because I'm seeing water energy as the Pisces childhood home family friends something that happened when you were really really young I mean you may be inheriting something my hand is itching mm. Ooh, what's that and it may come with some heartache and some harsh realizations okay that's 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 you know, this is your current energy. Um, for the secret, the, the six of cups, someone may be returning to you from your past, a past love, or are you meeting someone new that is a familiar feeling, a familiar love? No, I like the six of cups energy, Capricorn, because it, it's a love that, like, someone in, loves themselves and, like, gives love to themselves. This is someone who knows how to take care of themselves, give themselves love, you know, talk, feel good feelings, whatever, you know, so they are receiving that from the external world. You know what I mean? So you get what you put out. So something, some love is coming into you. Are you going to receive something that's of love? And it could f come from a person or just, just you feeling, receiving something that makes you feel good, that you deserve this. Okay. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Someone is working, someone is off working. There may be, like the truth may be held back about someone from your past, possibly a soulmate, about something about work. I feel like you are focusing on work. I feel like this pentacle that you've put behind you means something. It's like fixing something is what you put something aside. It is, in an import, it is an important part because you sense it constantly. You don't want to lose this pentacle. Something, something that you put aside. Maybe it's money. Or maybe you put aside something to work on something else. Seamoss heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. 
Sea moss has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs, like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about sea moss health benefits or to order your first premium grade sea moss, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com. Deciding to go with your own sense of intuition, you're standing up for what you believe in. I feel in the future you will realize that you do have the upper hand in something in a business or a challenge that's going to face you. Or maybe it's your ancestors or your spiritual gifts that you're using to embark upon a journey. It's, go, it's taking some energy, some thought, um, you taking action and work, real energy. So it's like you're going to be moving toward something in the future. After making a decision to go with your intuition and your heart, your own heart space, listening to your feelings, you're standing up for something that you believe in. Maybe something is coming to an end with a tower card in your living situation, your home, or your, just your environment that surrounds you. Something may be ending. Or if this is not for you, this is you putting an end to something is like coming up on, you know, like exterminating something else that you find. It could be like pests or something having to do with your home. But you're blazing fire on it. Look, you're the one that lit this fire, Capricorn, to pull up this situation here. All of a sudden, people be jumping out windows. Because you, I feel like you did this. So you have the ones in hand. So I do feel like you have the gift or the into like because uh, the ace of wands is inheriting something. So it could be a spiritual gift, or it's something, an energy. Mm, and I feel it's anger or foresight or something. You're, it's not you're not speaking. I hope I'm clear. But just the force of you, the anger or something that you feel or just like, and I feel it's something new that's coming to, maybe you're finding out something new, a new idea, maybe it's a new job that's going to end, something that you've been waiting on or feeling out, something your spirit has been telling you. I feel like you could meditate, ask for guidance and pray some more. That will help to bring you more clarity in how to move forward and to get the answer. I feel like you suspect something or you have an intuition, but you're not exactly sure, 100%. I feel like once you're sure, then you'll be in the 701's energy where you're taking action. You know, you're making the decision to get rid of what thoughts, feelings, Things around you, even desires, even people, friends, family, whatever it is. Work. Standing up for what you believe in. You're going to be standing out more. Seven of Wands is a cause of card of valor, of victory. You know. In your obstacle, we have the King of Pentacles. You could be talking about a business, an establishment, a financial establishment that's preventing you from following in your heart. Maybe the financial establishment is the obstacle because you're saying you don't have the means to do what you want to do. Maybe you're contemplating ending something, but you're not sure how to walk away. Maybe it's a new feeling, a new idea that you have. Okay, so you're contemplating that. Maybe you lost patience in the past, or maybe you're learning to be patient, not to speak, to be quiet, to be humble. Temperance energy with the Sagittarius vibration. Okay. I feel like your insights awakened. Your third eye, you got some information or something. It feels like it feels like it came out of the blue, like I say, out of your intuition and knowing. But also more than that, it's like a realization of truth. Like, but it's like you're saying, oh, okay, obviously that's why. So on, and that's why this has been happening. So, like, why have I been missing this? I feel like an energy has been cleared up in you, an energy of understanding or something. Like, why have I not 
seen this like this before okay now you're having a different understanding that's maybe that's that awakening that's happening for you with the tower energy because you're having a new feeling a new awakening a new realization maybe of self of roots of where you came from what you stand for I told you earlier you're going to be having a vision and maybe, maybe that's what's going to be playing a part. It's like a dream you're going to be having that's telling you something, reminding you of who you are, like your true warrior self, you know, masculine energy, father maybe, mother. I feel like prosperity is coming or is here. Like you can look around in your life and you can see things nice things flowers growing the sun is shining water giving thanks you feel good to something higher than you thankful i feel like that is what is helping you with your patience and clarity i feel like that's that um tapping into the temperance energy which is you're seeing other things to be thankful for using your third eye vision etc giving thanks for life all the beautiful things that surround you and realizing you're divine I feel like that's going to cause you to move through the obstacle of this financial institution or establishment. And it's, yeah, it's helping you to move through. I don't feel like it's going to be easy, but it's, you're going to get there. And then we have the, the seven of cups. I feel like you want some, this is just clarity that you need. As if you just wish you knew the answer already. You just knew what to do, how to make the decision. Or if you could just accept it, the answer did not deny it. Like you wanted to stand out. You don't want to be ifing and butting and guessing. You want it to be obvious so you can make that decision. You know, I don't feel like you want to make an emotional decision. You want it to be obvious like, okay, so this is what it's up. All right, so you know what I mean? That's what you'd like in your decision making. Something in your emotions. I feel like asking for clarity because we have a little bit of chaos confusion here with the five of ones too i feel like you are afraid of something falling apart maybe family or friends or feelings or if there's going to be chaos or what's going to brew what people are going to say how you are going to feel if you are going to be jaded or if you're standing out as the problem the difference the sick one or something um, maybe that's your fear, but your hope is that you can stand out and stand up and be victorious and represent. And I feel like you will, but this is just your, maybe your fear. It's not speaking up, but acting up or presenting how you like saying what you feel like you're afraid of really cause tearing the pot, you know, by being truthful. Or, just, or, or even just by being authentic to you, how you feel, what's going on. Like, how do you feel like living every day? What do you want to say? How do you want to move? You know, are the people around you able to accept you? Something like standing up for what you believe in. Your outcome, the Knight of Cups. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. I feel like someone may be coming toward you. Someone is looking at you, watching you. Out of the, on their phone, their device. I am just not sure how this person feels about you, the Empress. For me, the Empress is all signs, really. It's just a person. This could be a business. A business, like an employer. That's how it feels. The outcome with the Knight of Cups feels like someone is leaving. So I feel like it's like moving out of the chaos, moving away. Or someone coming toward you, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they're bringing something with them. It's like angel vibration and the water to replenish. I feel like they see you or this is your vibration as in as you emerge from this difficulty in angel mode you know beautiful free-flowing released because the aim the night of cups and the temperance energy feels similar 
as if you've really accepted who you are and now you're flying away from it feels like you're flying away from a home or a nest or a lair that you weren't truly meant to be in it's like you were living in an adopted family uh, well you know the, the story of the ugly duckling he thought he was to be here but for you it's more obvious it's like you're a butterfly and these people are moths and you need to fly away you're like okay and it's all in you it's the mind it's the feelings it's the emotions that keeps you tethered to these these things but you found a sort of freedom free in the mind that's going to cause you to easily fly away and leave them there because it's not because before maybe you wanted to take them with you you wanted to change them impress them be a part of them but it's like no you have no choice little butterfly but to like fly away to become to find who you are to find your own family your own soul and why you're here with the empress mode and the knight of cups that's how i feel so you're going to be doing that i feel like you're going to be living comfortably in peace your emotions are lighter your emotions and your energy feels like you've let go of a lot of things. Detox. Purging. A lot of emotions. Conflicts. Childhood things too. And so that is all I have for you Capricorn in this reading. Much love to you. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Remember like, share, comment, subscribe if you have not yet done so. Uh huh. And remember that your all, all is within you. You can be, do, have everything and anything in this world you desire. So dream big, Capricorn. All right, much love. Take care. Bye.